All right, so I'm gonna show you how to uh, repair your Cetus Summit hammock. Uh, what they give you when you receive your hammock is actually a little patch, um, a whole repair kit. Um, and, it give, and with that, you get instructions, um, a couple uh, circular patches and a couple square patches as well for any um, different size and shape of hole you might get in your hammock. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I actually just got my hammock and I set it up and um, I had a fire and I had it about 10 feet away from my hammock, but I think a little ember must have gotten in the air and um, flown over and, you know, burned a hole through my hammock right there. And you can see I just marked it with a Sharpie uh, just so I could find it quickly uh, for this video. And I'm going to go through and show you actually how to use it. So the instructions themselves actually say thoroughly inspect the hammock for all holes and tears, which I did. Make sure the fabric around the hole is clean and dry, which it is. Uh, carefully peel back the white backing paper on the repair patch and avoid touching the freshly sticky is, uh, adhesive. So basically just take this, peel it off. And then it says to position the patch over the center of the hole and then rub from the center outwards to adhere the patch to the hammock fabric. Ensure that there is no folds in the creases in the patch and avoid using your hammock for 30 minutes so that way you can finish adhering. So what we're gonna do is just use a circular patch because it's a tiny hole and um, this is the smallest one it has. And I wouldn't go and cut these up or anything because you probably need as much as, of it as you can just to get a, you know, a nice seal. So I'm having some trouble getting it off the adhesive, but there we go. Take it like that. And I'm actually gonna hold this halfway over so I can avoid trying to touch it too much. And I'm just gonna flatten it out and then put the center of this right on there. And then I'm just gonna peel the rest of it off, press down in the center of it and push outwards like it suggested. I'm gonna do that all the way in every direction for the adhesive. And I'm only gonna do this on one side. It didn't say whether you should do it on both sides or not. I'm sure if you really wanted a good seal and you have a lot of the adhesive patches left and you don't expect to get too many more holes, if you expect you know to learn your lesson from putting a fire too close to your um, hammock, then you know it'd probably be a good idea to do it on both sides. But they don't say that it's a requirement, and um, it should be fine as long as you work out all the creases. And that is that. And actually, the sharpie helped on me position it because I could see it as I was placing it on there. So that might be something you want to do as well. I don't think the sharpie will in any way damage the fabric and in any case you have a patch over it so if it would then you know you're um it's kind of got your back all right and that is that if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments thank you